everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video and today guys we are going to make a Chapel Ron doll Chapel Ron is a musician, she is an artist, she is a new superstar that we've got literally this summer so and you know guys honestly I don't even remember when I was as excited about a new musician the way I am excited about Chapel Roll. Probably just Lady Gaga, like early Lady Gaga had similar effect on me because really this girl is creative, this girl is authentic, her music is amazing, her looks are just beyond, <laughs> beyond beautiful, super artsy, campy, like drag queen uh, style aesthetic. Really, I'm a huge, 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 huge fan of Chapel Roll and that's why I want to make a doll of her today. You know, it's the most difficult thing here is to choose which look to recreate on my doll because all her looks, all her makeup looks are absolutely amazing. It's always a piece of art. I don't know, I think I will go for the swan outfit, but I still have some time to think about it because we'll start like always with, you know, undressing and everything, destroying the old doll, then repainting face and then uh, just then I will start working on the outfit. So I think I have like maybe five, six days to think about it, but I think I will go for the swan outfit but anyway this being said let's start working let's start this transformation of course guys uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos i upload new doll makeovers or every week friday or every second week friday and by the way normally next week friday i will upload my sabrina carpenter repaint video because we got two huge superstars this summer and I want to make both of them in a doll form. So, and yes, of course, guys, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes if you enjoy all the things that I'm making here. So, and this being said, let's start the transformation. So, this is the doll that I will use for this makeover. I think we can get a very nice cartoonish version of Chapel out of the Spectra Monster High doll. Uh, and I also think that even her see-through limbs kind of fit the vibe of the swan look. So let's undress her, let's cut her hair off, remove her original makeup with acetone, you know. This is where all doll transformations begin. This is the things that we always do in the beginning.
When everything is gone, I seal her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant and I start creating a new face using watercolor pencils from various brands and soft pastels from the brand Pan Pastels. So, as I announced in the beginning of this video, I will recreate this one look and Chapel wears a very interesting makeup with this dress. Her face is very pale with lots of silver highlighter. The eyebrows are bleached or they look light at least. Uh, the eye look is very dramatic. It's black and white with red pink accents on the lower eyelid white eyelashes, feathers on the corners of her eyes, so there is a lot to unpack and also she wears a very dark lipstick, so let's try to recreate it all on a doll. This is where I will stop working on her face for now, later I will still add lashes and feathers, but I will do it after working on her hair and after making the headpiece, because you know all these feathers and lashes, they're quite fragile. So right now I will blush her body and then I will add some highlighter to her face and to her body using pearl sand acrylic paint.
perfect this part of the makeover is finished and now I want to make her hair before making the outfit because I need to see her hair to be able to work on the hat piece so I will use this yarn to make her hair I think it's a very good yellowish blonde color so now I will make it loose I will brush it and then I will glue it to the doll's hat and I will not straighten the yarn this time because I want her hair to have this very curly and puffy texture This is what I've got when the glue got dry, very nice, so now I will crimp her hair a little bit to create this effect of kind of messy curly hair. This is it. I think it looks really good, so now we can finally move on to her outfit and I can't wait to recreate it in a doll format. Uh, so I begin with making a corset out of Warble Thermoplastic and you know I really love this outfit because it makes you think kind of both about the classic Swan Lake the ballet I mean and about the iconic Bjork's Swan dress and plus it's very beautiful on its own, so I really love the outfit and I'm very excited working on the doll version of this.
So, the base of the corset is finished. You can see I added two sort of wings to the sides. I think it will work. It will give me enough structure. Uh, the skirt I will make out of this mesh trim. You know, I was first going to remove these bits. But I'm looking at them now and I really like them. First of all, they will not be that much visible under all the feathers. But they will help to keep the skirt more puffy. They will give more volume. And then if some of them still visible, some of these beads, they will add to this soft pearl sand shine of her skin. So I will keep the beads, I'm gathering the stream now and I'm attaching the skirt to the corset. She wears a very tall headpiece and I'm making it also out of warble thermoplastic. And now it's time to cover it all with feathers. Look guys, I've got this feather boa. It's been made out of literally thousands of different feathers, all sizes, all shapes. So I think it will be a good source of feathers for my outfit. And the current plan is to spend the next two days in my studio covering the dress and the headpiece and the gloves with these white feathers. Corset I'm decorating with rhinestones.
done. <laughs> that was some job, guys, really. I have feathers literally everywhere. But the end result looks really, really, really good. I'm very happy about the way it all turned out. Now I still need to create a pair of boots to complete the look. Chapel wears regular white tall boots with this dress, so let's make them out of thermoplastic. Okay, these are the finished boots, look perfect and they go beautifully with the dress, very happy about the way it all goes so far. So now it's time for some tiny last details, like for example the feathers on her eyes, white eyelashes and I also need to give her a set of very long nails, because Chapel wears very long nails with this look. And then I will apply some glossy varnish to her eyes and lips and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. doll version of Chapel Roan and you cannot imagine guys how proud I am of this outfit. You know I never really work with feathers, you never see it on my channel so I had no idea really how it would all work in practice so because you know I don't have that much experience working with this material with feathers but the end result turned out even better than I expected, really. Her makeup and hair also look great. I especially enjoyed recreating the makeup look with all these feathers, white lashes, all these things. So I think it's an absolutely great result. I hope you will enjoy it today. And I also hope that you like Chapel Roan because it's quite a new name, but she has become massively popular this summer. And after her album release, she became even more popular. So please let me know if you're also excited about Chapel. And also please let me know if you like my new doll. Please don't hesitate to repost this video in your social media and tag Chapel on your post 
Rose because it would be absolutely amazing if she could see it. By the way, while I was working on my mini chapel, Hexen has released his version of the Chapel Rome doll and I think we'll get many, many, many more Chapel Rome dolls in the future because her looks are so creative, uh, she's been really a huge inspiration for doll artists. So, please don't forget to watch his video as well, he has recreated a completely different look, so it's a completely different project, very beautiful, very creative as always. So, and this doll is right now available for sale on eBay for 3 days, the link you can find in the description box under this video. So guys, and that was it for today, that was my doll transformation of the week, I really hope you enjoyed it today, and if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos, and I will see you very soon in my next video that will normally be Sabrina Carpenter one. See you guys, bye!